Okay guys, so I'm back and in today's video is going to be my fishing setup for 2017. I'm going to go what's inside my bag and then go to the fishing rods. So, let's get right inside the bag. Okay guys, so here's my bag. I'm going to go through things like pretty quick just to, you know, get through the whole bag. So, here we go. The first thing I have in here is just a few, um, what are these? These are like trout, I think. Yeah, trout nuggets and crappy nuggets. And I got a bunch of jigs and stuff in the back and a little old-fashioned scale. So, that's that. Now, put this thing up. Now, I got my crappy magnets. You can never have too many crappy magnets. Uh, pick it, what I have in here. Oh, that's right, I got my swim baits. My bait mate. And some other stuff back there. Hold on. Oh, I got a bunch of hooks back there too for like Senkos. So set that back up. Now I got some. Ooh. Totally forgot I had these things. The little pintail jigs. Really cool. I can't wait to use these things soon. Put them back in there. And then I think I have my line. This one. Yeah, my braid. And mono. Still got like 100 yards left on both, so that's pretty cool. Set this thing back up and get into the bigger stuff. So, got some extra hooks. Got like a mosquito repellent, clippers, uh, multi tool, uh, a poncho in the back, and that's about it for that. I think I have some rubber gloves down there just in case whatever but yeah so now for the baits I got got some swim baits got some Senkos I totally forgot I put these things in here some drop shot baits uh freaking Senkos again uh funny trailers and now Hard baits, so it's just a bunch of random stuff, jigs, spinners, really everything that's hard. So, got my lip, lipless crank baits right there, my jerk baits slash poppers, some random stuff, crank baits, and just a bunch of random stuff. I literally bought this like three days ago, and oh, all my spinner baits are back here and buzz baits. So, throw this thing back up. And basically my terminal tackle. Got some jig heads right there. I think, yeah, those things are floating jig heads. Those things are pretty cool. Some bobbers, bobbers. I think those are crappy spinners. Never, oh, no, they're walleye spinners. I never used them, though. Hooks. Uh, I think hooks and split shots. Yeah. Some... Weights and uh, rubber bands to put on the Senkos. And some trout. I think they're just trout spinner baits. Yeah, pretty cool. So, put that back. And, oh, almost forgot. I got the biggest thing. Can't believe I almost forgot this. Got some more pintail jigs. And I got all of my rubber baits right here. I can't believe I fit everything in here. That sh I'm not going to go through everything. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit. I got some yum dingers, some trailers, and a bunch of just same stuff. So that is it. Uh, I think I have one more thing to show you in the bag. I don't know if it's that. Oh, uh, just jigs. So, not that important. Put that back in. So, that includes my bag. And I'm moving right on to the, to the rods. So, here we go. Okay, guys. So, the first rod I have here is my medium heavy bay casting rod. I have the Black Max Abu Garcia reel here. This is a 6.4 to 1 gear ratio. And I got 20 pound braid on here. 
And, uh, yeah. Oh, I tie, I tied on this, pretty sure this thing was called a buzz bug. It's pretty cool. I actually got this thing for two bucks at a store. So, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure, as you guys can see there, the model of the rod is Tor KVD. Or KVO, I can't really tell. Um, the quantum rod. And, yeah, I got this from my dad, actually. He just had it sitting in, a, in our garage. And he never really used it, so I took it up. So, pretty cool. So, that's my medium heavy rod. And and switching on to the other rod. So, here we go. Alright guys, so the rod that I have here is basically my jigging rod for crappie and uh, sunfish. This is a Abu Garcia rod. I totally forget what model it is. I really don't know. But it's made by Ike Iconel Mike Iconelli. And, um... Yeah, I've just been using it all last year for literally everything, as you guys can tell in my fishing videos from last year. Um, yeah, like I said, this is just jigging rod, and as you guys can tell, I really need a respool on this thing. But, uh, yeah, oh, the gear ratio on this thing is, as you guys can see, 5.2 to 1, and, uh, yeah, I think this thing's five foot five I'm pretty sure so so yeah that's my jigging rod and I'm gonna switch to the other ones so here we go okay guys so this is basically my slash rod I like to call it because I literally use this thing for everything drop shots uh, salt water um, bass everything even sunfish if I have to catfish everything this is a Daiwa Samurai and try to focus right there as you guys can see right there this is a six foot rod um, this is a rod and reel combo that I got for 25 bucks I don't know what the reel is called but I could check what the gear ratio is um, it doesn't say but I'll probably find out later but yeah this is my slash rod use it for everything and I'll definitely be using it this year. So, I'm going to move on to the last one. Okay, guys. So, what I have here is my traveling rod. I actually got this thing for 20 bucks at Bass Pro Shop. And, uh, this thing is really cool because it collapses and extends. This thing at its full length is, I think, 6 foot. So, that's pretty cool. And I always use this thing whenever I'm going on, like, a car trip or vacation or whatever. So it's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, uh, this is a Lebco 33 Telecast. And uh, if you guys couldn't already tell, this is a bay casting rod. And um, I'm actually going to buy a reel for this thing tomorrow. So that's going to be pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so that includes the rod and... So I'm going to stop right there, and then I'm going to do my kayak. So here we go. Okay, guys, so this is going to be the last thing. I'm going to put up a picture of my kayak, and that's going to be it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.